165 pounds. Next up as Tyron Woodley of Missouri, 33 and three to go as the number one seed against number three seed Johnny Hendricks from Oklahoma State. Hendricks at 21 and four. He's a sophomore from Edmond, Oklahoma. Woodley, a senior from Ferguson, Missouri, McClure High School. And you know he would love to have a uh, shot at winning a national title in his home city of St. Louis. So this is the first stage for getting in that direction as Woodley from Missouri against Hendricks. Tyron Woodley, I think, is a guy on a mission this year because he, he's a senior, and, of course, you get a lot of seniors, they get on that, that mission-type feel to them, but especially for Tyron Woodley, All-American two years ago, finished eighth in the NCAA tournament, and then came back last year and just, no other way to say it, just had a poor second half of the season. It just didn't seem to have a lot of oomph and uh, let his weight bounce around a little too much and ended up being left home last year, did not get a wild card, finished fourth in this championship, and was left home, one of those guys that probably should have gone, but had a real bad last half. So he didn't even qualify, and obviously he thinks uh, he's got a chance to be an NCAA champ this year. Finished eighth as his sophomore year, and he was also a Big 12 titleist in his sophomore year, beat Nick Pasolano from Iowa State when he went 31 and 10, and that's why last year was such a letdown for Tyron Woodley, and a co-captain of the Missouri wrestling team. He's the second Tiger grappler in the finals. Brad Selisky losing to Kevin Ward at 157, and up next at 174, it'll be Ben Askren from Missouri to go against Chris Pendleton. Johnny Hendricks, an All-American at 157 last year, finished fifth and moved up this year. They had Tyrone Lewis at 165, and, of course, uh, Hendricks was Big 12 runner-up last year at 157, but has had an excellent season. Coming off an injury, a hamstring injury that he suffered in the national duels, and had that uh, barn burner tiebreaker victory over Jacob Klein of Nebraska Klein, your favorite wrestler from Valley Center, Kansas, we know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that was, uh, I think uh, anyone would say, the, the most exciting of the semifinal matches at 165 with Hedricks beating Klein, uh, Woodley the 2-1 winner over Travis Paulson from Iowa State in the other semifinal. And setting up the title match here at 165 as we are in the first period. No score here early, and these guys are both very good uh, defensively. Tyron Woodley is a guy who occasionally will hit you with a throw, and you got to watch out for that, but he's not extremely slick on his feet. Johnny Hendricks likes to work off an underhook and a two-on-one tie and go to the legs from there. Was Hendricks 157 last year. How's the adjustment gone for him to 165? It's a pretty big 157 pounder, only there because of Lewis, and he weighed about a year ago, he weighed about 193 in the offseason. <laughs> so uh, he had to come down a bit for 157, and now that was eating a lot and all that stuff and lifting a lot of weights in that summer, but he's a nice size, just solid 165 stall. Warning on Woodley because Hendricks has been pushing the action just a bit, and that could be big later on. You get one of these tight situations where a stalling call later might uh, you know might make a difference but still no score at this point just an edge to Hendricks because of the stall warning the final 10 seconds of the first period five seconds here to go in this first period as Woodland and a time up and that ends the first period with no score Going into this match, Bill, you, John Smith, you talked about how well their team has wrestled. They've won 16 of 19 matches in this tournament. And you think about it, the three losses, two of them came to, by Clay Kerr, who was seated last at 184 and was not projected to beat anybody. And the other one was Daniel Frischkorn loses in a tight match to Nate Gallick, the number one ranked wrestler in the nation. Those are their three losses. Some, certainly none of those bad losses. And yet they pull the upsets with Scott and Ward, uh, both of them pulling two upsets. So they've just had a dynamite tournament. Uh, and if they can finish out this last half with uh, these favorites they have coming up later on, I'm sure they will go home very happy. Yeah, they've got uh, Pendleton at 174, as well as Jake Rochelle at 97, and then the heavyweight Steve Mako is still to go after this match. And having won four of the first five matches overall, and all four of their wrestlers win. Hendricks the escape, and then uh, Woodley comes in on his first good shot, and had Hendricks in some jeopardy, but Hendricks countered out of it and got the leg as Woodley tried to spin away, and he's got Woodley scrambling on the edge. And if you keep any 
support any supporting point, the offensive man inside, and get control, you can get two. And John Smith not happy there, as you see him over the left side. The direction that Hendricks went, he thought Hendricks should have pulled Woodley back in. Instead, they're off with no damage, but some good scrambling there. Well, you see John saying, hey, use your head now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that situation. Hey. He had a man earlier today, and I noticed uh, a lot of coaches get frustrated by this, who had a hold of a wrestler's foot over on the edge, the other man trying to get out, and the wrestler, instead of popping back several times and pulling him way back in, eight or ten feet back in, the wrestler only pulled him barely back in and then tried to dive and grab the other leg. Well, you'll lose him out of bounds when you do that a lot of times. And most coaches will work on, no, you, you get him way back inside. Injury timeout by Woodley. Couldn't see exactly what happened. Almost looks like the way they're working on well, it. Look at his knee here in this, this position here. Watch when he turns over here. Might have torqued his knee it's like right there. Right there, that right knee, that's a tough angle there. And he's not grimacing yet, but uh, you can watch as he tries to turn. The angle of the knees. Boy, these guys, you'd be amazed at the flexibility of the knees. Incredible. These I've seen some of them take them. They'll look like their knee will be out to a 90-degree angle to one side or the other instead of straight back. And you'll think, uh, if that were me, just go ahead and cart me up into the ambulance and let's go home. <laughs> well, you think you could, watching them, you'd think you'd have an ACL clinic set up next to any wrestling match. But uh, it is incredible, uh, their strength and the flexibility of all of the wrestlers. These guys, pound for pound, are just pretty tightly wound there's no question about it a lot of them around five percent body fat and uh, of course very strong for their size physically 36 seconds to go in the second Hendricks putting the pressure on with that duck under nice high crotch shot no points yet but he's got Woodley in some jeopardy again Woodley very strong and very powerful through the hips hard to score on the leg shots but of course with a stall warning already on Woodley if he keeps giving up these type of shots he could be hit again and Hendricks has got him almost in a Peterson type position. Gives that up. He turns in and now Woodley has his leg. But Hendricks has a lot of leverage on the outside there with the hip sprawl. And he says Woodley's just hanging on down there, but it won't really matter. The period ends anyway. And here we go, third period in another low scoring tight match. One nothing. As we get ready to go to the third period here, 165 pound weight class, and Hendricks is checking out his finger as he just Woodley. Gave a, he gave a penalty point against Woodley, uh, apparently for hanging on to that finger. That's what I guess Hendricks was trying to point out, and so it's 2 nothing. as the official says, yep, that's a penalty. Mike Haggerty, the referee, Kenny Ritchie, the Matt judge in this one, and Mike Haggerty gave uh, Johnny Hendricks a point, so that's huge. 2-0. Now if Woodley gets the escape to start the third, instead of being tied 1-1, he's down 2-1. So Hedrick's a 2-0 lead now going to the third period here at 165 pounds. OSU perfect on the night so far in the finals, having won all four of their matches. And Woodley trying to get Missouri a title here and trying to get loose. And Woodley does. Uh, should be one. Yeah, he gives yep. him one. It's so. the escape, so two to one, and I think the crowd even here, a lot of them, except for the people wearing orange up here, I think they'd like to see somebody other than an Oklahoma State guy win a title. Yeah. Nate Gallick of Iowa State, the only one so far. Gallick being Tion Ware over time from Oklahoma. So Woodley's got to pick it up now. He's down 2-1, 132 to go, riding time not a factor here. There's a shot by Woodley, and he gets to the legs uh, on a high cross shot on the left side, but... Hendricks, good hip sprawl. He's very strong through the hips, and he'll start the counter process. He'll reach back either through the waist or around to the leg, try to peel the hands off and work to the corner, and if they can't go anywhere, you'll get a stalemate here pretty quick. Hendricks pretty aggressive with that counter, and boy, he's just about got, got a cradle hooked up right there. Now can he turn him with it? If he gets him to his hip, it's two, and he's got it right there. So a good counter by Johnny Hendricks. Woodley in trouble. Hendricks not turned him yet, but here we go. Watch it, watch it. Hendricks with a 4-1 lead and inside a minute to go in the third period. And this could be huge right here. It could knock a big hole in the match if the takedown already has somewhat 45 seconds to go. But can he get him turned? Woodley's just frozen there. He's afraid to come up, afraid he'll get flipped. Now he does break the cradle. 
So Woodley in dire straits here with 30 seconds to go. He's down by three. He's got to get an escape and a takedown to tie it up. And Hendricks, uh, he was known for having a real good gas tank. The longer it goes, the stronger he seems to be. He's pretty well in control right now of this one. And Oklahoma State trying to go five for five in the finals and favored in their last three. Yeah, they've already had the upsets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here, Hendricks, the number three seed for the tournament, Woodley the number one seed, and OSU gonna win another one. And Hendricks rides him out, lacks one second getting the riding point, but wins 4-1. Johnny Hendricks, the winner at 165 pounds. He's a Big 12 champion. And coming up next, the Cowboys try to continue the roll. What a battle. 174, number one, Chris Pendleton against number two, Ben Askren.